afternoon, good evening, good morning. Can you hear me okay, Jaggi? Yes, you can hear fine, Jerry. All right. All right, well, thank you very much, everybody. Hello. Hey, it's great to have you here, and I've got a lot of things to cover, and I'm excited about what we're going to do tonight. I've never done this particular webinar before, so it's exciting to me, and I hope it's going to be for you. As John Gee mentioned, I've had 42 coffees today, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> so if you're uh, ready, then uh, I want to start talking. What I'm going to do tonight is going to talk to you about my model, my marketing model, which is sort of the foundation for everything that I do. Then I'm going to give you a, a handout, which you will be able to download in just a minute, and uh, use that to print off and take notes. And um, I'll get to that in just a quick second. Actually, hold on a second. I think I'll, if I, I'll see if I can give it to you now, the link. Just give me one second. Okay, here's what I need you to do. If you want to download that link, if you want to download the handout for today's webcast, I need you to go here. Just give me one second. I need you to go to tinyurl.com forward slash ml dash handout. Junkie, can you just check that? Is Make sure it's not underscore. ml dash handout. And there's a PDF there. I suggest you, you uh, print off a couple of copies of it. Because what I'd like to do tonight is to not only uh, give you my system, then I want to walk, I want to walk you through uh, my blueprint for marketing, and then, and then talk with you and open up the lines, and then actually literally work through this with uh, one of you or, or you know, with, us, with everybody on the line. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few minutes and, and have a quick commercial about my Missing Link program. It's not for everybody. It's several thousands of dollars, and I don't want to mislead you. It's not for everybody. Uh, but after I give you this good information, maybe some of you are going to want to listen to what I'm offering, and uh, that's my raison d'etre. So I, I just want to, I've got nothing to hide. I'm, I'm going to give you this information, and then I'll give you an opportunity to um, stick around if you want to hear more about my missing link program. It's very exciting. There's nothing like it, and the results so far are going through the roof, and the response has been good too. So, let's talk about for a second, and and just get you to think for a minute. And maybe uh, I'm going to unmute all, Jean Guy. Can we do that for a second? Oh no, you told them to unmute themselves if they want to talk, right? What I want to do now is ask all of you to participate, or some of you anyway, and I want you to think back to 5, 10, 20 years ago, you know, way before the internet. Some of you have been in business before the fax machine. Uh, some of you have been in business before the telephone. <laughs> uh, but I won't pick on my lawyer friend. Um, <laughs> but if you think back to how consumers are different today, like they're more what today, they're less what today. I'm going to open up the lines and have you participate for a little bit because we have a rather small crowd today. Um, so why don't you unmute the line, Jean Guy, and I'd like to ask you to think back five years, ten years, and uh, I want you to tell me how are people different today than they were five years ago, ten years ago, twenty years ago. Hello, go ahead. How are people different today? They're more skeptical. They're more skeptical? Peter, do you have a comment? No, we're not getting any, we're getting a lot of feedback here. Uh, Joe, go ahead, Joe. How do you think people are different today? Oh, some people don't have mics. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get you to unmute. Hey, Gary? Yeah, who's that? That's Tamar. Hey, Tamar. 
and everybody who was listening to me and said, What's that? Everybody needs to mute themselves. Oh yeah, so could everybody just mute yourself? If you're not talking right now, please just click mute. It's, it's the green microphone. If you click it, then it'll have a line through it. There's a green microphone, and if you mute yourself, there should be a red line through it. If you could all do that right now, and except when you're ready to talk, just unmute yourself. Ah. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, who's who's talking right now? Tamar? Yeah, it's me. So how how is consumers how are consumers changed now compared to they were five, ten years ago? Consumers are suffering from information overload right now. Mm. And because they are, they're in an odd situation of either believing everything they see and read on the internet or believing nothing they see and read on the internet. And yep. we, are, we are seeing uh, consumers not very interested in doing the detailed critical thinking that, that often characterized decisions in the past. Yeah, good, good point. Um, who else has a comment? Okay, uh, I'm not getting a lot of participation, and I'm not sure why. If there's a technical problem, Jagi, or people are just unmuted or don't have a line. Okay, well, let me keep going, and, and uh, we'll sort that out. So, I guess the point, uh, another point that I'm uh, making here is that the consumer mindset is very skeptical. And uh, today they're very worried about uh, a lot of things. They don't trust anybody. They uh, are more uh, bombarded, as Tamar said, uh, uh, with marketing messages. They are you know, very um, uh, doubtful. They are um, not loyal. And so the, the need to use attraction differentiation, credibility, authority, and trust is so much more important than ever before. And so um, what I, I want to do is talk to you about why people uh, fail in marketing so often has to do with the fact that so many of them are using the wrong model. And so for a lot of people, uh, they don't understand uh, the fact that if you look at the, the way that they behave, it is significantly different than high-performing, very success, successful entrepreneurs. And what I've done over the past 25 years is um, looked at my own business and watched the results skyrocket and then look at the lives of those people who are not so successful and then uh, try and look at what they do what most people do is they understand the difference between um, the old uh, and the new way of marketing. Most people agree that there's a small number of people who will give us almost all of our income. The problem, however, is if you look at what they do all day, they spend forever shaking trees, knocking on doors, trolling networking meetings for leads, uh, even to the point of going to the same stupid meeting every single week, um, making sure that uh, they're trying to find that one person, um, uh, you know, who might buy their product. So I think one of the things that uh, we want to do is is just look at the problem of selling to the unknown marketplace. And that's where most people go today. They spend forever chasing customers at the bottom of the market. And so they are forever uh, knocking on doors, chasing people, trolling, all, attending all kinds of meetings, working like a dog night and day, and they're not pulling off the kind of money and revenue that they know they could. And that is because they spend uh, hardly 
any time with that small group of people who are predisposed to buy what they sell. There's a small number of people, and you know it. There's a small number of people who are ready, willing, and able, and will buy what it is you sell in the next week, month, quarter, year, I don't know. You know that there's people who are going to buy. Imagine what would happen to your business if you stopped chasing them on the bottom of the marketplace in the unknown marketplace, and what's unknown is people's predisposition to buy what you're selling. And you could spend almost all of your time in the known marketplace, but then get this, make them come directly to you. What would that be like? If all of a sudden the people who are most likely going to buy your product and service all of a sudden came directly to you, that's a big difference. So one time I wrote an article entitled, Selling is Like Kissing. I'm also an expert on that topic, <laughs> but uh, that's for another day. Um, if you think about it, the best prospects are always leaning forward. Well, the same thing goes for uh, 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 selling and kissing. See, the best kissers are always moving toward you. They're never backing away from you. But if you think and you look at the way unsuccessful salespeople operate, they're constantly chasing customers. So they're fundamentally trying to sell people who are backing away from them. And they wonder why they struggle so much and they have such a problem. Well, what I want to do today is show you my model about how to change your way of selling so that you're not selling people who are backing away from you. The highest income earners in any industry are not knocking on doors chasing customers. I'll tell you right now. When my income went from a hundred thousand dollars a year to over a million a year and then I've done a million in a week and I've done two million in a weekend I'm telling you I wasn't chasing anybody and so what we have found is that the most successful entrepreneurs those who are enjoying the dream having time to spend time with their family and enjoy life are using strategies that are fundamentally different than the people who are broke, unhappy, and unhealthy. And so what we want to do tonight is look at how we can make people come to you. And uh, I think one of the first places we need to start is to calculate our missing number. So what I, our, our, sorry, our magic number. So what I'd like you all to do right now is to grab a pen, and I'm going to help you create your magic number. By the way, uh, there is a question function in this uh, system, in this uh, webcast system. If you would like to speak, just put your hand up and uh, we will unmute your line and then you can ask a specific question or you can ask it in the chat or in the question uh, feature as well. But I want to help you look at how much money is really passing by your business every single day. Because if you knew how much money it's costing you to have the wrong model, you would get very serious about this. People tell me that my programs are expensive. Shut up. Not using my program. Now that's expensive. So let's calculate your magic number. Okay, so it's very easy. It's a formula. To start off with, I want you to ask yourself, how much do you typically make, on average, from every new client? I want you to put a number there. So if you sold something and your commission, on average, was $2,000, I want you to write A and then $2,000. Now, you may have uh, a wide range of numbers that could go there, anywhere from two to 200, or 2,000, or 20,000. I want you to ask yourself and write down the number of the ideal prospect. Like if you could only sell to one person every single day, what would that amount be that you personally make or profit from that new client 
Everybody should have a number now. Next, I want you to think about how many referrals would you get from that particular person over the next 24 months, next two years. Like if you sold person in uh, number A and you earned whatever amount it is that you wrote there, in my case, in this example, it's 2000 If you did a good job with this person, how many referrals would you get from this person? So in, in my example, uh, let's say I sold this person, and over the next two years, I would get two referrals from that person. Well, then what you do is you calculate C, which is the referral income. It's very easy. You just simply uh, multiply A times B, and then you'll know C, your referral income. You make typically 2000 per person. You get two referrals. That means that you're getting $4,000 of referral income over the next two years, assuming you do a good job with this person. And uh, then what you do is you calculate your magic number by multiplying, or sorry, adding A, new client income, plus C, referral income. That will give you your magic number. Your magic number is of vital importance to you because what it does is it gives you an opportunity to see how much money you are losing or not making or could make if you had a different system to bring in new people. And so what I do in, in my business, for example, is is I ask people if, if you and I were working together, what do you think? If I was your coach, if we were using, if you had me as a salesman for your company, how many new clients do you think you could get or we could get together over the next 24 months? Do you think we could get one customer a month? <laughs> you know, if you were doing this right, and your magic number was $6,000, and we were able to work together for 24 months, and that's just getting one customer a, a month that you would have never had, then your new income would be over 144000 And people tell me, oh, man, it's expensive to work with you. Shut up. It is worth expen It is expensive to work with me because I deliver huge results. But you need to understand, what we have found is that the most successful people, the most, the most uh, highest producing entrepreneurs are those who know what kind of money they typically are going after to build a business around that to create the systems and products that will allow them to have that. I want you to think about your magic number because I'd like to take a poll right now and I'm going to ask you to participate in this poll. Uh, let me just select the poll. Uh, what's your magic number? And, and what I'd like you to do, I'm going to launch this poll right now. And you're, you have an opportunity to actually vote. If you're listening to this on a recording or a replay, uh, the poll won't work for you. But I want uh, uh, those who are listening live to take a vote. On average, how much is, what's your magic number? Now, I know that some of you are not clear about this, and so you'll need more time. But let, let's just see where the magic numbers are in the people that are on this live call. I'm doing this because I ask myself, uh, if you could uh, uh, pick anybody to sell, what would that end up looking like? Who would you really like to sell to? And so that's all over the, the it's, all, it's, it's currently all over the map. And so let me show you now. I'm going to close the poll in 10 seconds. So if you haven't voted, uh, go ahead and do so now. Just click on whatever number most... Uh, resonates with you, well, it, it, it's pretty clear. Okay, so let me close the poll now, and I want to share with you uh, the poll results. So in this case, we have 
most people are uh, between zero and a thousand dollars. The next category are between two and five thousand dollars. But we have thirteen percent of people who are over f between five and ten, and uh, thirteen percent who are over ten thousand. And so you've got to ask yourself, what kind of a system do you need to build to go get that? Like if you want to raise that or you want to get more of those magic numbers, what's it going to take? And that's what I'm happy that we're going to talk about now. Let's go through and, and uh, let me just remind you that I've prepared a PDF handout for tonight's session. And you can get that at the uh, URL listed on your screen at the moment. It's tinyurl.com forward slash ML dash handout. If you have not yet downloaded that and printed it off, I suggest you do that because what I'd like to do now is to walk you through this, this uh, system, this blueprint. It's a marketing model that we use all the time. And uh, it's important for... Uh, for you to take a lot of notes because in a minute uh, I'm, I'm going to ask uh, if anybody would like to uh, have me walk them through this uh, for their business and if you do want to do that you might want to just text uh, or, or in the chat room just uh, tell Jean-Guy that you would like to do that um, uh, and then we'll, we'll line things up. But, uh, print off the uh, handout and then let's start working through it. What I'm going to do first is find, uh, is uh, sort of explain it and then I'll walk through it with uh, one of you if you, if anybody wants to do that. Um, okay, uh, so the handout uh, URL is there. Let's, uh, let's go through and walk through the system. The first, uh, the first aspect of this is the um, is the uh, primary objective. So in the primary objective, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for um, what is the main objective of my marketing. And this needs to be clear and concise. Uh, it needs to be measurable. I don't believe it needs to be realistic. Because what's realistic about making in a month what you made in a year? Not a whole lot uh, uh, of, of logic there, but it, I still did it. And so if you look, you've got to ask yourself, what's your primary objective? And make it so that you can actually measure it. And it may be, you know, uh, attract 500 new prospects per month in our database. meet one-on-one -on -one with five new appointments with a higher level clientele every week. You know, whatever it is, it needs to be clear and concise. The next thing is to look at the target population. That is, who do you want to sell to? Who is it that you're most interested in, in um, attracting? And I think that one of the things you got to look at is is some of you are are, are trying to sell to the wrong um, uh, to the wrong uh, group. Okay, so you got to first analyze your target population. Then you got to ask yourself what are their needs and problems. You know, every target market has a certain amount of problems. And what you want to ask yourself is what keeps those people up at night? Now the next thing you want to do is you want to look at their value, your value proposition or what I like to call specialty services. That is, are you offering anything that makes you different than everybody else who sells what you sell? What are you literally bringing to the table that will help you sell this person with these needs over and over and over again. Because I'm telling you, if you don't understand the needs and problems of your prospects, you are going to struggle. Research is conclusive that the highest income earners and entrepreneurs, business owners, are those people who most closely match their marketing to the needs and problems of the prospects. 
And so if you look at 99% of the marketing materials, websites, promotional items, they're all pretty much focused on the seller of goods. We're the best, we're the greatest, we're the biggest. Nobody cares about you. What do people today care about? They care about their problems. And if you don't address their problems properly, you're going to struggle. Okay, so once we've identified their needs, how you're solving those needs with what value proposition, you got to find a magnet. You got to find something that will pull them to you. I call that an attraction marketing device or event. Anything that you offer that uh, gives people uh, an opportunity to get something of value that solves their needs for free, they will be attracted to you. And so what could you offer in terms of a um, uh, in terms of a um, um, of a device or an event that you offer for free um, that will pull them to you. Okay, so that that's the next thing. So once you do that and you look at uh, your attraction marketing model, you want to start looking at are there other revenue streams. So you've got your main multiple, your main revenue stream, but if you were to change your, your marketing and created several uh, spin-off sources of income from a lot of this, uh, you could have your income skyrocket. So we're going to look at revenue streams around it. Now, what I believe is that you've got to look then at the persona. So you need to create a platform which understands the marketing mindset of today and that will impress your target population. If you think about it today, if you sell anything, there is a certain amount of fear that occurs in the mind of consumers. I mean, just think about this. People are protecting their highest uh, uh, resource and that's money and so the greater the dollar amount of what it is you sell the greater the potential for fear in the mind of the consumer so if you're selling something that costs five bucks there won't be a lot of fear but if you're selling something that you know has a huge uh, dollar value of course the fear level in the mind of the consumer is much higher your job as a marketer is to lower that fear level. How do you do that? You do that by creating a strong persona or platform that shows people you can be trusted. And from there, we create some key strategies. First, we start off with an A1 goal. What's the number one thing you've got to work on? and then create three or four others that will feed the, the, uh, the funnel of marketing. See how it works? It's much different. See, what most people do is they just broadcast their message to everybody, and that's not effective. So I understand that we have somebody who's uh, uh, willing to go through this with us to help analyze their particular uh, business and show you the model. So. Um, maybe we can just unmute Terry Lynn. Uh, hi, Terry Lynn. How are you tonight? Hi, Jerry. I'm good. Terry Lynn, uh, those of you who do not know, is a um, management consultant from Edmonton. Uh, tell us about your new book, Terry Lynn. <laughs> well, um, it's, uh, it's on team building. And it's going to be out in January of 2012, and I'm really excited about it. And if we had time, we'd even show you her cover. Yeah, that's the most exciting part, because now it seems oh. real. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. You know what? I'm going to go get it. <laughs> you guys are going to flip when you see her cover. 
Just give me a quick sec. I'll pull it up. So tell us what it is you do, Terry Lynn, while I'm doing this. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm shifting gears at the moment, but what I have been doing is uh, running a, a human resource company where I go into small business that can't afford to have their own HR department and basically I'm the outsource. Um, yeah, so I've been doing that for a couple of years now and had the good fortune of uh, crossing paths with Jerry and John Guy. And so now I'm, I'm uh, becoming an author, something I've wanted to do for many, many years. And it's actually happening. And um, I'm really excited about that. It's going to take my business just through the, sh through the moon, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to show you. Just one sec. I found it. Right, desktop. I had it here just a second ago. Give me a second. Where did it go? Um, I had it. <laughs> it's here a minute ago. Hold on a second. I got it. Folks, this is Terry Lynn's cover. Woo! Isn't that cool? So Terry Lynn, you're an author, and um, and uh, so let's let's look let's look at your business using my model, and I want to uh, sort of just work through this with you. Uh, in terms of your primary objective, uh, Terry Lynn, what is your primary objective? Um, okay. I'm struggling a bit with this, I'll be honest. No, that's good. <laughs> um, if I was struggling with this, then we'd be in, we'd be in trouble. Yeah, okay, all right. And I'm not. Okay, good. <laughs> so what we want to do with your primary objective, you could look at everything, and I do primary objective for everything I do. If I'm on this webinar, I have a primary objective. If I'm going to make a phone call, I have a primary objective. If I meet with you one-on-one, -on -one, I have a primary objective. If I do a speech, I have a primary objective. So it could range from big to small. Let's say in your case, uh, it was an income objective. So you would write something like this. Uh, let me, I'm going to try and do this live, OK? So just give me a second. Can you all see my screen, Jungi? Okay, I'm going to try and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger yet. I think I could close this and make it even bigger. How's that, Jungi? Oh, just a little bit too big, right? Okay, so uh, so let's say. Um, uh, Terry Lynn, that we are that we are looking at a, at an income goal. What's the matter here? What's the matter for you? Um, okay, so what you want to do first is you want to you want to say something like generate, and then put a number. So let's say because because you and I have talked. Uh, let's say you would like to earn uh, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Uh, generate in sales. Uh, let's just say for my speaking engagements, you're going to be doing speaking, right? Yes. Yeah. That's. Uh, yeah. Or, or training, maybe. Is training a better word in your business? In your case, um, training, engaged no, seminars, it's, or it's speaking? Both, engagements. I think. Pardon? Um, I think it's going to be both. Okay, speaking engagements. 
uh, or um, training seminars. Okay, by let's just say uh, August 2012. Okay, so that's, you're going to give yourself a year, and so now you see what happens because this is 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 um, what because this is clear and it's measurable, it's definable, it's somebody else could look at this and you know whereas if you said I want to improve my income or I want to make a ton of dough well people don't know what that means right okay so do you agree that that's a well written objective yes i think it's i think it's great cuz it's very specific and what all the what they call it smart smart goals yeah smart Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to ask your, uh, answer the question, I want to sell to, who's your target population? Like, who, who do you want to sell to, Terry Lynn? Like, who will buy speaking engagements and training from you? Um. <laughs> Okay, I'm way out of my comfort zone here. I'll just say that up front. <laughs> um, That's good. That's then you know you're at the right spot. Yeah. All right. But I mean, um, are you going to sell to religious groups? Are you going to sell no. to nonprofits? Are you going to sell to corporates? Are you going to sell to uh, voodoo, mystical massage therapists? <laughs> <laughs> um, where? Okay. So the reason I'm hesitating is I'm not sure yet whether my target audience is large corporations or small corporations, um, but it's not going to be... Okay, uh, so that's a good point. Business. That's, a that? very, that's a very good point. Because you can only have one target population per blueprint. Because, uh, Terry Lynn, you're not going to get you're not going to expect to use one single marketing strategy to um, help or to attract rather small business owners and major multinational corporations. It won't work. Right. Okay, so let's pick one right now. Okay, I'll pick small business. Small biz owners. Okay. So that's who you're going to go after. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is uh, I want to ask myself. Ask your, you want to ask yourself this question, which is what keeps them up at night. What I mean by that is what drives these people crazy. What do they um, toss and turn about in, uh, at home? What 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 drives them? to worry and frustration. Think of a small business owner and tell me what you think their biggest need or problem is. Um, there's not enough time that, that they, so they are, have time pressures? They have time pressures that they're needed hands on. Um, Sorry. Okay, so your book's going to be about teens, and your and your um, your seminars will be related to communication in in, in groups and so on. So, uh, what are some of the the pressures that they would face in those areas? Um, I I think. A lot of times people are not productive. They're they're pulling in different directions. They're not focused in the same direction. And so therefore they're not productive. So So are you are you talking about their employees? Yes. Or themselves. Sorry. sorry. No, I'm talking about their employees. Okay. So so let's just think about this, okay? So now you would make a list of you would keep going along this line. You would ask yourself like you may even ask a bunch of business owners, like, what, 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 you, what drives you nuts? What, what, you know, what, um, you know, if you, if I could wave a magic wand and remove one thing from your business, what would it be? And, 
you know, so you ask them these questions. So let, let's just look, let's just say you've identified it. Let's just use in this example that there's non-productive employees, okay? Okay. The next thing you want to do now is you want to ask yourself, what is your value proposition? What I mean by that is, what, what's going to make you different than everybody else who uh, sells training to this group of people? Um, what, what is something that you could offer that is different? Like, what's the value proposition? Like, why should somebody hire you? Earth to Terry Lynn. Yeah, Earth. sorry. Well, you know, this is probably why I, I'm not clear on this, which is probably why I'm not doing it yet. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, I'm not really sure what to say. Okay, well, let me give you some examples. So um, you got, you're going after small business owners who have non-productive employees. So your value proposition could be things like uh, teamwork to make uh, better cash flow, or uh, get more done faster. You see what I'm saying here? OK. So what you're doing, in essence, is you're trying to find uh, an angle. So in your case, the angle is you're going to help your people work better so that it improves your bottom line. You're not just doing teamwork, you know, so that people hug each other every Friday night or hang out on weekends. Right. You're looking to improve cash flow. So as a business owner, uh, you know that that's going to be one of their big goals anyway, right? Their needs and problems is cash flow. Yes. So now that you, your value proposition is that you fix teams or fix employees so that it improves the cash flow through higher productivity. Wow. Okay, yeah. That actually, now that's special. Okay. I mean, we've got a bunch of business owners on this call. I bet you a lot of them would like to know how they can get their employees to do more so that it affects the cash flow. Okay, so, yeah. so it may sound a little like this. I... Um, I get your people to work together and boost production and cash flow. Like, like all of a sudden now it's different, you see? Now you're not just a teamwork speaker. You deal with boosting production and helping cash flow. Oh man, I like this. Okay? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, it does make so, sense. So, so then what you do is you ask yourself, now, you, you should not spend time chasing prospects. It's just a waste of money. It's a waste of time. And so what you want to do is ask yourself, what could you do to attract people to your, uh, to you based on their needs and problems? Well, I think you've already told us what it is. <laughs> we already know that your book uh, is definitely, if you were to use this as a, and give this book away, like I'll ask everybody on this call, uh, raise your hand, you know, on the uh, go to meeting uh, sidebar, raise your hand if you'd like to get a, a copy of, of, uh, of Terry Lynn's book when it comes out. Let me just see how many people raise your hand. I'm going to wait here for a second. So go ahead, everybody, raise your hand. If you'd like a copy of her book for free once, you, once it's ready, how many of you want to? Nine, I can't show you this, Terry Lynn, but 90% of the people who are here today, and, and the people who, are, who have not put their hand up, I'm telling you it's because they're either in the other room or stepped in the bathroom or something, <laughs> most people will call, would love to get a free copy of that book. Okay, so now you're going to use your free book as a magnet. 
Just by the way, the word free needs to always be in all caps. It is the most important word in the English language to any marketer, and so you always want to make sure that it's in all caps. Okay? Okay. So you're going to offer this free book, and uh, you are going to use that to create sources of income to build your business. So let me show you what the next thing is. is most people don't know that there are lots of sources of income that they could have if they um, just thought of improving their business in a way that is different from everybody else who does what they do. If you were just thinking a little bit, if most people just thought a bit more, they would see that from the book they could get um, uh, they could do speaking and get paid for it. Now let me just let me just make this a bit bigger so you can see it. I'm assuming I'm assuming you can see that. Okay. Yeah, I I can. So. Uh, they could, you could do speaking, you could do coaching, couldn't you? Yes. You could do um, training uh, classes. You could probably do consulting, right? Yes. Uh, you may be able to do a number of other things related to that book. And so I get people to think of other ways to generate revenue, not just one. This concept is called multiple sources of income. You want to you want to make sure that life you get that that you want to create additional sources of income. Well, then what you do from there is you start looking at what are the what are the elements of a persona that will cause people to have trust and credibility and authority with them so that you could sell them more. So what are some uh, uh, persona elements? So one is author, speaker, uh, consultant. You see what I'm saying now? Now, now? now let me say, in your case, this is easy, right? Because that's what you do. But I would say the same thing if somebody was a financial advisor. Because if, you, if, if I don't care what it is you sell, if you sold cars, I would say to you, you were, if you were brand new at selling cars, Terry Lynn, I would say that you create a book, <laughs> you create additional sources of income, and make a platform that, that features you as an expert, even if you're brand new. <laughs> Now that's because you don't have to be the expert. You don't have to be the all knowledgeable one. I'm saying you could become the reporter. Think about that for a second. Maybe you haven't sold a car in, like I'll just use this example for a second. Terry Lynn, is that okay? Yeah. So let's just say you were selling new cars. You could go ask people who might have bought a new car or, or, or people who sold a lot of cars and ask them, hey, what's one question somebody should ask before they buy a new car? If you asked seven people that and recorded it and put it in a small little book format, you could write a book called Seven Questions to Ask Before You Buy a New Car, couldn't you? Okay, yeah. If you, if you offered a free book called Seven Questions to Ask Before You Buy a New Car, do you not think a bunch of people are going to call you and get that book? Right. No question about it. So I'm, I'm crazy about books, and so that's why I think that everybody should have a book. Um, <laughs> but it, it doesn't have to be a book. It could be a, a, a free report, a white paper, case study, a second opinion. It could be a video series, a home study course. It could be a, uh, an event, like a seminar, a mastermind meeting, an interview, a, uh, a client appreciation evening. All I want to do is I want to become a magnet to prospects. I want them to come to me instead of them coming, me chasing them. Yeah. And then from there, uh, once you've got your platform built, you just simply uh, then come up with uh, uh, some key strategies, not a hundred, 
but you come up with a few. And I like to start off by getting people to think of an A1 goal. If you could just do one thing, what would that be? Well, since uh, this is new for you, um, Terry Lynn, because you're just getting into this side of things, I would suggest that one of the things you could do is an interview campaign. Okay, great, yeah. So let's say, um, let's say you're going after small business owners. Well, what if you went to a, uh, to a bank manager who specializes in small business loans and you said to that person, hey, you know what, Janice, I'm uh, thinking about, I mean, I'm writing a book about small business owners, about how they could get their people working more productively so to improve their cash flow. Uh, I'm writing this book. I, I would like to interview you for my book. How fast do you think that that person would agree to be interviewed for, by, a, uh, by a, an author about a potential book? Yeah. Let me tell you, 3.6 nanoseconds. Right. <laughs> I was on the call today with a, a lady from Australia, one of my clients, Claire Mann, C-L-A-R-M-A-N-N dot com. She booked 28 appointments. Is it 28 or 24, Jean? 24 appointments for CEOs or major uh, or senior executives in 24 corporations who are her prospects. How did she get in there? She she used the interview campaign. Okay. Okay. So what? How do you do that? Well, you take your book cover, and you just you just send it to people and on a postcard on the back of it say, "I'd like to interview you for my book." It's only going to take 30 minutes. So now all of a sudden you're in front of people. They're going to say, what do you do? What's your book about? Can you take my picture and put it in your book? <laughs> Unbelievable. That's just one strategy. So if you did that for every day for a month, it wouldn't take you too long to get people. Okay. You could do uh, another key strategy is give a speech. You know how fast that you could give a speech? to uh, your potential target prospects if you're an author and you've got this kind of persona, doesn't take very long at all. And so that's my model. That's the way I work. And that's the way uh, I think you ought to look at your business. And if you don't know all of this, I mean, I think you, you could uh, just think it through for a second and avoid some of the mistakes. See, most people have no goal. Seriously. It's beyond me. It's beyond me. I mean, since 1952, we have known that uh, all the highest entrepreneurs on the planet have goals. And they write them down. They're clear. They're measurable. They're realistic. I think that's, the, I think that's a bit of a problem. I never say realistic. What I say for the R is really limited to one objective. They don't even do this. But the highest income earners, I'll tell you something, they know what they're going after. Then you've got to really understand that you can't sell everybody the same way. You need to understand who your target population is. This target population, small business owners, have needs and problems. You better think through what's the most important ones because they don't care about you. They care about themselves. They care about their problems. So you've got to figure out a way to let them know that you're more interested in them than about yourself and how good you are. You've got to have something of value to offer these people. And then you need to pull them to you. You've got to have something, a free book, a free home study course, a free video, a free how-to, a free newsletter, a, a special report, something to make them come to you because the, the, uh, the, the, the uh, industry, every industry knows that uh, to be successful, you've got to find those people and make them come to you so that you're constantly filling your prospect pipeline. And what do you do is you, you have lots of things to sell these people. And they'll listen to you because you're a persona. You've got a, you've got a position in the marketplace that really uh, lets them know that they can trust 
your advice. And you can raise your prices if you do this. If you've got a great platform, you can raise your prices. I was talking to a guy today who makes $400,000 a year. He has a, a video production company, but he's charging like $1,000, $2,000 for his services. He's fighting on the bottom of the market. How would you do that? Create a persona and you can charge the price that you deserve. And then you need to have some strategies, but you need to have one major strategy and six or seven or three or four others and get moving on all of that. You know what the problem is? The problem is most people never understand that they are costing uh, themselves a fortune and are wasting all kinds of money because they don't put into action the things that they learn. Just think for all of you now, and by the way, thank you very much, Terry Lynn, for that example. <laughs> um, most people don't know that they have spent money on training programs, consultants, coaches, seminars, uh, conferences, home study courses, videotapes, audio tapes, home study courses, all kinds of stuff, and they waste the money because they don't put into practice the things that they have purchased. Think of the last seminar that you went to. How many of those ideas, folks, are you actually doing? Think about it. How many of you are not doing the things that you you say uh, that you've paid to learn? In fact, let me ask you. Let me just take another quick poll. Let me ask you this: Does this describe you? I want you to answer this question and be honest with me. Do you have a tendency to not implement the things that you have learned and invested in, either in terms of software, uh, uh, consultants, coaches, speakers, trainers? How much would you say that describes you. The poll is going to be open just for another few seconds, so if you haven't voted, go ahead. I'm going to close the poll now. So, And again, this is very interesting. The poll shows, and I'll share it with you now, that 80% uh, of you, 80% of you would say that I, I spend money but I don't, it hasn't really affected my behavior. It hasn't filtered down to my, uh, to my um, bank account. Let me tell you something, I know exactly why. And the reason why is because most of you, at, at the very, everybody said, 100% of you said yes, absolutely, or sort of, describes the fact that most people don't act on what it is they know, and I believe that that's what I call the missing link. That is, you have focused on changing your mood, not your behavior. So if you buy a program, go to a seminar, listen to some guru, he makes you feel all good and happy, or she uh, leads you through a seminar and even walk on fire. I mean, there's been these, you know these seminars, I've been to them all. And your mood changes, you feel like you can conquer the world at this thing, and, and Monday morning comes. <laughs> and Wednesday comes, and, thir and fi Friday the visa bill comes in, and you just think, where is your mood now? So what I want to talk to you about now is what I believe is a problem or the reason why so many people today, business owners, don't get the kind of results that they want. And it has to do with the educational model that we grew up with. You will agree with me that many of us are not taught how to think and how to act and change our results. In fact, we're told that if we listen, we'll gather lots of good information. And if we uh, gather that information, 
there's a difference that will happen. And I say that there is a huge difference between listening and learning. They're not the same. Listening is where you input data. Learning is where you internalize knowledge. So if you go and listen to some seminar, get all pumped up, motivated, excited, listen to all the things, your mood feels great, and you've gathered a bunch of information, that's a, a far cry from internalizing knowledge, where it becomes part of you. There's a huge difference between um, listening and learning. Now the problem is most of us grew up with an educational model that told us if we know we know something when we can rem remember, write, or repeat it. My mentor told me you don't know anything until you have a permanent change in your results. So what most of us grew up with was this notion of changing our results by gathering information, go to seminars, buy the tapes, listen to something over and over again, repeat it over and over to yourself, instead of really focusing in on the doing. The do Most of you don't need more information. Most of you need to get off your ass or have somebody kick you way where it hurts to move you forward. And that's what I call, folks, the missing link. The missing link is this need for accountability. Think about it. If you had somebody riding you and teaching you and staying on you, you would not say that that describes you as a person who, who pays money for things and don't do them. I'm introducing a new program now called the Missing Link 24-month marketing program. What I'd like to do now is take a few minutes and just share this with you because I believe that, uh, as you've said, you uh, are struggling in certain areas, but many of you, most of you, are making a fair amount of money when it comes to the uh, magic number. It's worthwhile for you to look at and invest in how to get more of those numbers. This is a 24-month program. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go through this quickly, and if you're not interested, you can, you can leave. Uh, if, um, you know, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and share with you what I offer. And there's nothing like this anywhere on the planet. It is the missing link. I've caused a lot of controversy with this already, and we've barely started. Because speakers don't want you to know this. The consultants hate this. Because what you need is you need more than almost anything else, is you need radical accountability, where we identify your goals, identify where you are, so that we can quickly identify the gaps between where you, wh what you know and what you do. Because if you know something, or sorry, if you know something and you don't do it, man, you're going to be frustrated. So. We identify your gaps, and then we quantify them over 24 months. You see, if you want to change your mood, all I need is 24 minutes. But if I'm going to change your behavior, I need 24 months because I want it to last. So we quantify um, how much it's costing you to not do this, and we quantify and rectify it over a long period of time until you are complying with those things that you know are going to help you. And the whole focus is on marketing. And so the model, I, I, I want to go through this model and show you the components of this because it's phenomenal. There's nothing like this anywhere to solve that missing link to get you to do what it is you know. It starts off, uh, first of all, with this radical uh, accountability process. I've been writing about accountability and the need to change your habits and behavior for over 20 years. A whole section on my first book and, and a major section of my of Millionaire Mindset on that process. And uh, what we have is we have a whole software system that um, helps us have a radical accountability over the, uh, over the internet. When I say that, there's a, there's a piece of software uh, that we use uh, that um, just give me a quick second. Um, a piece of software that we use to help us measure people's goals. 
So if I go back here, for example, um, just so you know, this software is all in place. It's simple to use. Uh, you would just simply come here. You create a goal. Uh, generate, as you said, uh, Terry Lynn, generate uh, 250,000 uh, of speaking engagements, you know, like uh, we said before. Income goal. Why do you want to do it? Uh, because uh, I deserve it. And if I make that kind of money, it'll really piss off my <laughs> Sorry, Terry Lynn. I'm just kidding. I don't know if this applies to you or not. But so you want to you want to describe the why. Now the most important thing is you got to say when do you want to do it. So you just come over here. You say you want to do it in 12 months. There. Now you got to ask yourself what what's the core value, and you would you would create your own core values, and then you ask yourself is it a high, medium, or low priority, and then you just tick off the smart goals. Is it specific? Is it measurable? Is it achievable? I don't like that, by the way. Uh, yes, it is achievable. Is it relevant? I, I don't like this. I would say, is it uh, really limited to one objective? You say yes. And then you And then you just simply click. Bam. Now, if you're going to achieve that, you've got to do a few tasks, right? So one of the things is write that book. Write the book. When is it going to be due on? If you're giving yourself, in terms of a book, if you're giving yourself more than six months, uh, you're taking too long. So you simply add the task. Well, what else are you going to need to do to get 250000 Well, I'm going to, um, inter I need to interview 25 prospects about my book. When is that due? I want to do that within uh, 30, or let, let's just say two months, by the end of October done, add the task. And so you would just create more and more of these tasks. And then you hit, you hit uh, save. Every day you can look at your goals and see where you are. If you take this goal, for example, to clean up my office, I look at the tasks that are associated with it, and I can see here, that because it's, it's in red, I can see that it's due. If I need to have a little a note, I just simply write the note to myself. And, and, it's, and if I do it, if I do the goal, I just say, I completed it for today. Boom. Boom. And then you do that. And the system registers that you're on track with this particular goal. Or, sorry, this particular task. So 10 of the 18 uh, uh, instances are, are, are clear. And you just takes five minutes a day to go in there and look at some of these goals. The beauty of this is it allows you to keep track of your life. And you can see how you're doing. Are you living a balanced life? You know, are, are, do you have goals everywhere? Um, what are your high goals, your medium goals, your low goals? In terms of due dates, what's due now? What's overdue? Look at all these things that are overdue. You just go in here and look at them. It takes you five minutes a day to go in and look at your specific goals and tasks. And then you look at your uh, specific uh, status. And, and by the way, you can change this uh, anytime you want. If you know, In this case, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that there's 158 uh, overdue things. You know, you can, if you don't want that, you just take it off. If you want to have... Uh, a, a dreams counter. You just put it in there, and it'll start looking for your dreams. Um, you know, you, if you want to move it around so that it looks more attractive to you, that's no problem. It's a fully developed system, and one of the best in the world for creating dreams, goals, and tasks. It even allows you to track your activity, so that you see that you're working on this all the time. And then, of course, it has all of your tasks. You can look at a journal about what's happening and what you're actually doing today. And the important thing about this is it allows you to see, and, and, and you'll see in a second, I, me, Jerry Robert, as your coach, can go in here. I'll show you my link in a second. And I can see if you're working on your goals or not. 
just by the way, before I get to that, I can tell you that there's also a fair amount of reporting associated with this. Let's say you set a goal to save so much money by a certain date. Well, you want to just look at how much you've accumulated so far, just run a report. The, the report tells you how much you've saved every month. Here, you want to look at it in a chart view. Boom, this is where your income has gone. Now you can do this for weight loss, you can do this for income, for prospects, for all of your tasks. It's a powerful way to get visually in tune with the things that you say you want to do. Now, let me show you this. So you do this five minutes every day. This is a daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly program. Here's my view of what you of your goals. So I come in here and me as your coach and this is private I'm the only one to look at that looks at this and I do this I look at all of these and I see oh some of them are green some of them are red I see for instance that Jennifer Mason that's the person I just showed you she's got 19 goals that are delayed and 15 tasks well, I want to find out what's going on with her like well, just click on that it takes me right to her goals Remember she set a goal to clean up her office? I look at this and I say, uh, she, it's been two weeks, she hasn't, signed, she hasn't signed those papers. You know what I do? I just click on here as the coach and I say, Jennifer, sign the damn papers. Don't make me go there. You'll be sorry and I go like this, I hit send. Now all of a sudden, I'm able to look at Jennifer's gold. You see me as a coach, I just look at those things that are red, and I could see, for instance, her goal, uh, Jennifer's goal to call mom every day, or weekly, she's right on task. Now I can't change any of this, I could just look at it. But I could also look at uh, Jennifer's journal. I can see what she's done every single day. Today, for example, is the 15th. I could see that she logged into this at 7.51. I could see that she created a goal here to generate X number of speaking. She created a task. Ah, good, she's working on it. Oh, oh. Um, I could see that I sent her a message. Now, if I go back to Jennifer's application for a second, let me go back to Jennifer's account. And uh, Jennifer, let me just see here, goes to um, her journal. Actually, this is not the right one, is it? This one. Yeah, save profile. That is the right one. Hold on a second. Uh, Jen Jennifer goes to her uh, goals, uh, her journal, and she can see here there's a message from the coach. So let me just show you. If I took everything else away, I could see there's a message from a coach. Sign the damn paper, Jennifer, you'll be sorry. She says, okay, I'll go do it now. Why is this important? Because Jennifer needs somebody to hold her accountable. This program works because it holds people accountable to their goals and their dreams. And this software is already all set up. It's part of our program. You do not pay anything extra for it. And again, it's for 24 months. And there's a lot of things that I could talk about this software, and, and I won't uh, spend forever. There's even a, a, a fake, uh, I mean, an iPhone application for this so that you can uh, track your goals on the road. It's a powerful, powerful system and it allows me to check exactly where you're at. I can see if you're behind on any of your, your, your goals. I can check out all the messages that are there and I personally do that. I love doing that. It's part of my life mission and uh, I enjoy doing it. So you're going to have accountability but in addition to accountability you've got to have the right strategies. Most people don't have the right strategies. 
So working harder, digging a hole, doesn't put you where you want to go. And so we have two main things that I want to talk to you about now. One is the data vault. Uh, currently, there are over 6,000 files in our data vault that you have access to. It's all password protected with courses and training, uh, training programs and home study courses. I've purchased or written most of those for people uh, for the past uh, 25 years. Everything that I have as samples, templates, I mean, I've got over 500 PowerPoint presentations in there, templates that you could use. I've got um, all my PowerPoints, all my videos, all my handouts, all my workbooks, all my home study courses. They're all in the data vault. We've got videos. We've got um, uh, uh, samples and recordings. Everybody you can imagine, their files are up here, and you have access to all of that. But the real kicker, uh, in addition to all that, is the live events. And let me tell you what the live events are. First of all, there is, you're going to work on this every day for five or ten minutes through the software system. Then once a week, we're going to meet for a 15-minute accountability call online. That's just going to give you the, a little shot in the arm to keep going and, and answer any questions that you might have. It's short, though. We don't want it very long. Then once a month, you get a 90-minute session, session with me on the uh, Internet, a simulcast, a very important teaching webcast to show you the strategies, mindset, and practices of the highest income earners and the most successful entrepreneurs around. Then... Um, once per quarter, and this is the hallmark of our whole program, once per quarter, you are going to meet with me here in Toronto for a full day refocus seminar so that every 90 days we can look at what worked, what didn't work, and where you're going to go in the next 90 days. We're going to make specific goals. We're going to look at specific strategies and tasks and measure how far you're going every 90 days. Now we've got people on the line today, I'm sure from Australia and New Zealand and uh, Malaysia, Singapore. For those people who are not able to come every 90 days, we will do a one day, uh, same event, simulcast, so you're able to see exactly what everybody else will see uh, it will be professionally filmed, and you will have the opportunity to participate as if you were in the room. Now, I'm still suggesting that you come to Toronto once per quarter, every 90 days, to refocus your business, or you can keep struggling. It's up to you. The very first thing that we do then, uh, what you can see here on the top, is the educational component to everything. Because our focus is on marketing, our whole idea is that I want to give you the most powerful strategies that have worked for me and my partners to generate over a hundred million dollars into my bank account. Do you hear me? A hundred million dollars into my bank account and that of my partners in the past 25 years using this stuff. For individuals, corporations, Fortune 500 companies, if you are serious about going to the next level, then this content piece is vital. I know strategies, and I'm going to show you a bunch, that will blow your mind when it comes to marketing. Everybody has to take the marketing model module. That's because you need to understand my philosophy. Then uh, what I do is we, we look at your mindset, and you'll pick a certain amount of areas that you want to work on. It might be your habits. It might be your sub conscious programming or your habits, you want to install new habits, you want to overcome what's going on inside your head. We're going to do that with the leading edge strategies that work for me and other high, highly produ productive individuals. The next thing is uh, campaigns. So we're going to look at marketing campaigns that are most powerful for you. You understand that my bent or propensity is toward um, Attracting prospects, making them come to you. My goal is that you have more prospects and you know what to do with. 
And thirdly, that it costs you nothing for marketing. Do you hear me? That you can implement these strategies that are listed on your screen, books, newspapers, reactivation, all kinds of stuff, and it doesn't cost you money. Let me show you for example. Folks, I've been doing this for a long time and there's no one on the planet who's actually done more to help people move this stuff into action, particularly a book, for example. Many of you should do a book. Many of you want to do a book. Listen, nobody's helped more people than I have in terms of helping entrepreneurs use a book as a marketing tool. I mean, all of the pictures that you see on this screen are people who have written books at my seminars. I've published a lot of people's books. In fact, I've published over 200. It's actually 256 books right now. I've published where people have paid me $56,000 to publish their books. Just do the math, folks. 256 people times $56,000 is a whack load of money. And I've been using these strategies myself, using these very strategies uh, for over 25 years. We've generated a lot of money. So books is one thing. Uh, I'll show you how to get your book out. Uh, your home study, my home study course, which I used to sell for $1,500. I've had over 2,000 people uh, come to my seminar where they learn how to plan the right book. You've got to have the right book. You've got to learn how to write it quickly. I have a system on how to write a book in 40 hours. I'll show you how to publish it and get high uh, celebrities to endorse your book. I'll show you how to fund the thing. That's really exciting. How do you get other people to, to prepay your book so that you have um, the money to get it printed and marketed? Now, we don't make money selling books, folks. We use our book to get magic numbers. <laughs> I give you other strategies that are out out of this world that are just mind blowing. How would you like to have your own newspaper? Your newspaper will allow you to attract prospects. I'm talking about a a um, a tabloid sized newspaper where your articles appear. This is one that I did uh, where I create the name. I uh, do all the things. Uh, I, I write the articles and it doesn't cost me a penny. I can do this for you and I can show you how to get this done where all the articles are provided for you. All of the uh, uh, interesting things inside the, the newspaper like uh, Wolfgang Puck's um, um, recipes and uh, all kinds of things like crossword puzzles and so on. Anywhere from 8 to 15, 20 pages. All you got to do is just talk to a few advertisers on spending a little bit of money in there, and it's easy to do. Keep in mind, we're talking about zero-cost marketing here. This is stuff that nobody else does, folks. See, you can have the right strategies, but you got to know how to implement them. And that's what we do in this program. I give you the right strategies. I stay on you for 24 months. I talk to you every quarter live for a full day refocus seminar. Then once a month I teach you these strategies. And then every week I hold you accountable and every day you report on your strategies for five or ten minutes. Another way of looking at it is like this. So every uh, uh, the program is for 24 months. So we're going to work on this. It's not magic. I mean we're going to work at changing your behavior. We do an extensive assessment before you start so I can see what you're, where you're at and help you determine where you want to go. Then we work on the content track. You know, we look at what would be the best strategy for you and how do you implement that in your life. And I give you direct access to me uh, to help do it. I give you all of my content in the library and the data vault, all of the PowerPoint presentations and royalty-free pictures and everything. See, what you're getting here is radical accountability, the missing link. That's what's missing. Well, I'll tell you something. If you're working on that software every day on your goals, and I'm not talking very long, five to ten minutes, just updating where you're at, and we get together every week where we hold you accountable, where you can ask questions. If you're stuck, I'll have contact with you. And every month where you learn a new strategy, 
to attract prospects, make them come to you with zero marketing costs, folks, every quarter we meet for a refocused full day seminar, every 90 days for two years, that's eight times over the next two years. Ask yourself, if I was doing this with him, could I get one new customer a month? <sighs> This is powerful stuff. Um, um, let me give you some examples, and then I'll have I'll have somebody uh, uh, Tamar explain to you why she's in this program and why it makes so much sense for her. But I'll just give you a few examples. ClaireMan.com is a therapist, uh, a psychologist in Toronto. Or sorry, in Sydney, Australia, I was on the phone with her today. She interviewed 28 CEOs, it's actually 24, in 30 days. She sold a $25,000 contract that she was originally going to price at uh, 2500 Does it pay to work with somebody like me? Let me ask, uh, 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 tell you about Jean Reeves. Here's his book cover. He's a financial planner in Toronto. He got 700 leads in 90 days that he never would have gotten if he had to join this. James Burgess did two lead generating seminars and got over 200 people in each one of them. He sent me today an email telling me that uh, he is today listing $40,000 worth of proposals out in the marketplace. So you've got to ask yourself what it is you want. You've got to ask yourself, does a guy like Jerry, if I work with him over the long term, would it pay for itself? Now, you don't know how much it is. I'll tell you how much it is in a second. I believe that most of you, when you see the price of this, you're going to flip. I, what I mean by that is you're, you're not going to believe how inexpensive it really is. But what I'd like to do now is uh, open the line up to uh, one of our members who is, uh, you know, who has, has been into this and we're doing a lot of things together. But uh, what I'd like to do uh, is, is uh, Tamar, why don't you tell uh, the people here why you invested in me and in working with me and this uh, concept. Um, you, uh, just for those of you who know, uh, Tamar is an attorney a lawyer from um, Washington DC area uh, she specializes in nuclear law and environmental law and she wants to take this to a lot of lawyers as well so uh, Tamara what's been your experience in, in terms of uh, working with me or working with this information and do you think that it's a worthwhile thing for the entrepreneurs who are on the line to, to, to consider well I'll tell you what Jer um, the major thing for me is the accountability. I like the way you hold me accountable, and you, hold, you have held me accountable through emails for almost a year now, and I really appreciate it. What is wonderful about the missing link, though, is that I get to hold myself accountable with you. You're still my ch coach. I still, I look in the mirror, I say, Jerry freaking Robert is my coach. I can't believe it. And that's for me, the major reason that I'm involved. I, I think what you do for people, what you've done for me, has been terrific. And it's great to be able to do it through email, but being able to report and know that when I report in on my Missing Link program, that I'm going to be not only accountable to myself, but to you as my coach, really motivates me to focus in on the most important pieces of, of my plan and my most important priorities, whether it's with my family, whether it's with my business, whether it's uh, with uh, you know losing weight, whatever. I, I know that I have somebody on the other side of that, uh, of that web uh, interface that cares about me and wants to see me succeed. Uh, Tamar, can I just, <clears throat> sorry, can I ask you, uh, from a, a business perspective, you've been practicing law now for how long? 25 years. 25 years. You've seen all kinds of uh, content 
and strategies to grow your practice. How relevant do you think my content, our content is uh, for small business owners today? Can you speak to that a little bit, the content? It's absolutely essential. 90% uh, of what I do as a lawyer is advise small businesses uh, in what, they, what the best thing they can do to keep their business secure and to keep their business moving on. And the stuff you provide, Jerry, is absolutely essential to anyone who wants to grow their own business. One thing I want to teach the lawyers that I work with and teach my clients is that everybody involved in the marketplace today is, is, a, is an entrepreneur. They are small business owners, whether it's a solo practice or whether it's a large firm. Everybody in an organization is an entrepreneur, has to be an entrepreneur. And what you offer, Jerry, uh, your Millionaire Mindset, especially the, uh, the Missing Link program, all of your programs offer to small businesses exactly what they need to know and have to be successful. Great. Well, I, I, I really appreciate that, Tamar. I mean, uh, you, you've uh, been an inspiration to me, and, and, and just that's why I'm so happy to have you know, people like you. I mean, I really feel that uh, after 25 years, I have really found where I'm supposed to be. I've, uh, I've done a lot of things in this world, and there's a song, um, I forget who sings it, uh, Finding My Place in This World. Anyway, uh, I think I found my place. I mean, I really want to see the uh, successful people become more successful. And uh, people who are willing to invest in themselves and attend seminars, webcasts like this, and improve themselves are the people I want to, I want to work with. Um, I understand Terry Lynn has uh, something that she would like to say as well. Is she unmuted, uh, jean -Guy? All right, Terry Lynn, I understand you wanted to say something as well. Yeah, I just um, I just wanted to say I came across a quote today that hit home for me, and it seems really um, appropriate right now. Um, that there's two ways to learn from mistakes or from mentors, and the cost of mistakes far exceeds the cost of a good mentor. So go find one. And I I just I really strongly believe that uh, both you, Jerry, and Jean Guy are both just amazing mentors and what we've got going in this program with the missing link with the energy and the positiveness and the just the go get it um, I think you've you've said that you want a hundred percent success rate for all of us so I would just encourage everybody on this call to if you're really serious about doing something with your business then this is definitely something you got to do well, now the question, thank you very much, Terry Lynn, that was very good. Um, now the question on everybody's mind is, how much is it? <laughs> uh, well, so I asked people, you know, if we were working together for 24 months and uh, I could help you raise your income, change your behavior, you know, could we generate a hundred thousand? Could we generate fifty thousand? You know, if you hired me to give us, if you wanted me to go and speak for your association, your company, just call my office sometime. You'll see that I charge twenty thousand dollars for a keynote speech. If we work together for twenty-four months, what could we end up doing in terms of changing your behavior that translates into income? Could we get, I mean, 24 months, could we get one customer a month together? <laughs> Seriously. What if I told you that this whole program, 24-month marketing program with the software, with the database, with all of this content, with all of this accountability, with meeting with me every 90 days for a full day, getting the webcasts every month, the weekly accountability calls, plus the daily software to hold you accountable. What if I told you that whole thing was $500 a month? Now, at this stage of the 
again, you're going to fall into one or two categories. You're going to say, I can't believe it, or you're going to say, that's really expensive. If you think that's really expensive to work with me for 24 months, changing your behavior, giving you my best strategies, then it's time for you to hang up. <laughs> but if you are serious, there's only one thing I want you to do, and that is apply. Because this is not for everybody. The price, just so you know, uh, starting October, we are going to Malaysia, Singapore, Ireland, and London, England. The price is going up to $700 per month, and it's payable per quarter, every quarter. After January, the price is going to $1,000 a month. Now, you can get all of this for $500. It's payable in three quarters. Or sorry, it's payable in advance uh, uh, every quarter, four quarters in a year. So where I want you to go, and I want you to, to grab a pen right now because I want to give you uh, an opportunity to, um, uh, to uh, go and apply for this because it's not for everybody, but I want you to go to, let me just, I'm going to put it up here now. Is it, check this out. Yeah, check this out, 33. Just give me a quick second. I'm going to put this up now. If you would like to apply for this, I'm going to invite you, those of you who may want to look into this a little bit more, I want you to um, go to check this out, uh, tiny URL, check this out, 33. There's a simple application where you're going to need to fill this out. I will tell you something that if it takes you a long time to decide, you will not be allowed in. I have found that it takes, if it takes people a long time uh, to decide, it takes them a long time to do anything. And as Tamara said, I want a 100% success rate with this. So you've got to have the right attitude. You've got to be in the right frame of mind. If you are, then you will go to this website right now and make a decision. You've got to get off the nail. You may have heard me share this story, but it's very powerful, and I'll close with this. A man was walking down the road one day, and he heard a dog barking. He could hear the dog barking for a couple of blocks, and so when he got to the man's house, he looked in the yard, and he saw the dog crying on the porch. So he went up to the man, and he said, uh, Sir, there's something wrong with your dog. I could hear him crying for two blocks. Uh, I just thought you should know. And the guy said, No, there's nothing wrong with my dog. He's just a dumb, lazy old dog. The guy said to him, well, sir, there's got to be something wrong with him. He's crying. He said, no, there's nothing wrong with him. Is he crazy? No, he's not crazy. He's just a dumb, lazy old dog. And then get this. This is really important. He said, the, the dog is sitting down on a nail. Well, what's he doing on a nail? I mean, why does he just get off? I'll tell you why. The nail hurts him enough to cry and complain, but it doesn't hurt him enough to make him get off the nail. If you are a successful entrepreneur who knows that you could be doing more, having more, and being more, and that you uh, know inside that you're ready to take your income and your business to a new level where you're enjoying more success, more time off, uh, less stress, more uh, happiness, more time with your family, then you'll go to this website. And if you do, you fill out the quick application, and then I'll get back to you and see if it's something that may fit into what we're doing. I hope you're ready to get off the nail. I want to thank you for being on this call. I um, want to encourage you to go to this website and do it now. And I want to thank uh, all of the people who participated. Uh, Jean-Guy Francaire, who's my partner and runs this whole thing with me, and uh, of course Terry Lynn for participating with us and uh, giving her us their comments, and also uh, to Tamar uh, for a great um, contribution to this webcast. So folks, good health, good wealth. I'll see you again, and if you have any questions, please just put your hand up and I'll answer. Thanks.